again. Right, we got QuickTime working properly for Windows 3.1, and now we can play Operation Weather Disaster. Yay! Woo! Woohoo! Here we go. So yeah, just to recap for the sake of the recording, um, so Discovery Channel had their own little um, production company to make games. And um, this is an interesting one. Uh, lots of FMVs, which I needed uh, quick time to get running. And here we go. And yeah, that fucking boy up in the corner there. Stratus, scan traces are showing three tornadoes. Two of them have just been upgraded to F5 status. Current speed and heading indicate that they will intersect Chinook, Oklahoma in 20 seconds. Thanks, Millibar. We'll take care of it. I'm not going to let him get away with this. Just doing my job as an infobot, Stratus. <laughs> you guys copy on that? We're tracking you, Stratus. And please try not to show off this time. <laughs> After all, <laughs> FBI's are nothing to see that. Of course, Miss Buss. This is a walk in the park compared to Catman Dude. Think he'll be all right? Sure, mate. <laughs> this David. He's done this like a million times before. Not this, like this, he is. There's Tim in one of his we'll faces. Your progress from I here. love this guy. It's like, play with the cool this is like, this guy is like Dana the Carvey with brain damage. I love him. Armor cyclonic <laughs> missile, Millibar. Nice to see you again. Full payload. Armed and ready. Okay, let's do it. Fire. Hi. <laughs> the magical tornado just destroying missiles. <laughs> I see him. We gotta get him out of there pronto. Prepare to set down, Melibar. Yes! Stratus! <laughs> oh, friend character. <laughs> Everything's gone flat. Charge the global position locator isn't reading. I'm not getting anything from Millibar. I think she's offline. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Now check this boy out. <laughs> Well, it's time for a weather report from your friendly neighborhood weatherman. And today's report Actually, do for a rewatch of Long Island. I do enjoy tornadoes that. And, uh, hmm, let's see a moment. Something's missing. Uh, ah, Stratos, <laughs> your so-called leader. Well, let's just say he's uh, retired permanently. And your silly little info box was of no use to me either. Matter of fact, I don't think she's of uh, use to anyone. Millibar! <laughs> what have you done with Stratos? Uh, 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 I could send a brigade of F5 tornadoes marching down on your headquarters. <laughs> but if you leave right now, I could be persuaded to spare your lives. He's bluffing. We can't take that chance. Not after what happened to Stratus. Sound the evacuation alarm. Take the storm runners in the hangar and go to your secondary weather sites. We'll coordinate remotely and see what we can do. Well, I'd wish you all good luck, but uh, then I wouldn't be evil, would I? <laughs> He's wearing a t-shirt right. and hip waders. Yeah, yeah. I'll be in touch on the coded frequencies. Stay alert. <laughs> I think I'm going to hide. Oh. Now, See, no it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait to get quick time weather. running and get these movies going. My weather. <laughs> <laughs> My weather will triumph. <laughs> and they don't bring it up in this f and but this, yeah, this villain, I think they call him the Weatherman, and um, he created a weather fuck-up machine in order to, because um, he got sick of doing sunny weather all the time. <laughs> Oh, I've actually set the cycles a little low. Please. Okay. Someone, anyone can hear. Please. Okay, so let's pick up some trash. Please. Someone, Random trash. Anyone. And a stick. We're gonna need a stick. Please. Um, Someone, anyone can hear. Please. Oh no, let's save this robot. Oh fuck. <laughs> power lines. Get this fucking power cable off me, man. Damage the systems. Malfunction. Please rewire terminals. Completely re rewire. Help re rewire. Turn the terminals. Oh, I actually need the wires. Okay, hang on. Uh, where does he wires? There we go. Some wires. Let's reroute this puppy. 
Okay, and it's just Simon, basically. Yep. Okay. That one and that one. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. That appears to be functioning much better now. I am Milibar, the Team Extreme Infobot, and I'm afraid we are in a great deal of danger. I cannot locate Stratus on any of my scan traces, and my short-term memory banks have been gl glitched. Sorry. Allow me to access backup information from my database archival. This is unfortunate. My database functionality appears jammed. Unless some way can be found to unjam it, my usefulness is, is, severely limited. If you can find some way to help, I can retrieve the coordinates for Team Extreme Headquarters and explain further. Okay, um, alright, so we need something to unjam it. Let's go with some uh, oil. Okay. Robots, unjam that puppy. Thank you again. I will now attempt to reinitialize <laughs> my database functionality. We had much better games to play in high school, to be quite honest. Extreme, um, my main function is they the actually taught us to play SimCity 2000, like the old it is Windows 95 work. one, which is probably the best of them all. Dreams of. Hey, Team don't disparage Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic Schoolhouse was a gem. Strange, strange gem. Made by the people my who brought us um, Bloodwings, Pumpkinhead's oh, well. Revenge. My global macro is to provide you with the information <laughs> necessary to deal with any problem. You may access either my linear database functions or my content. And I did find the old 90s Sonic Satam series on YouTube and I've been able to collect some background information for your update. <laughs> and yeah, let's not let's not I learn things. Team what kind of game is this? But I've encountered another problem. My atmospheric guidance system was burned out. Perhaps if you remove the atmospheric guidance chips from the Storm Runner craft, you can repair the system for me. I would be most appreciative. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what a game. Holy shit. Um, okay, so the guy tried to save us. We're... We're in the right... We're in the wrong. We're, we're stuck in Oklahoma with... Uh, Tornadoes, so we, we've definitely got to get the fuck out of here. And some guidance chips. I think that's all we need for the moment. Uh, let's robots. Yep. Put those chippies in. Each chip is kind of already forgotten what the levels are. If the chips are arranged in the correct order, my atmospheric guidance system will be operational again. I believe I was able to recover some atmospheric data from the archives if you need to access my database. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, atmosphere structure. Thermo Mesa Strato Tropo. Okay. Um, thermo Mesa Strato Tropo. Okay. Proper Strato. There we go. Perfect. Atmospheric guidance system is online. Oh my. I am detecting an oh enormous my. number of tornadoes in the vicinity. We must leave as soon as possible. I will accompany you to Team Extreme Headquarters and serve as your guide. But first, I need to calibrate my nav readings according to the current wind direction. <laughs> this is becoming simply embarrassing. <laughs> particularly for Personality of the robot. It's like, for, this for fuck's sake, robot. nothing works on me. Do you have I am a sock? the most important piece necessary for determining wind direction. <laughs> My nav readings are solid 5 by 5 We're ready to go. From now on, I will accompany you and aid you in any capacity I can. If you need to access my database or help functions, you need only to touch the appropriate control on my interface bar. <laughs> Let us examine the storm room. Like Hopefully it will be in PCs. better shape the rest than I all, oh, leftover 80s max that had games like the first Winter Olympics game and a terrible Garfield game on all actual bendy floppy disks. 
Man, I would have been in heaven. Ugh. Scan traces and systems analysis show that the storm runner. And you did remind me I have to find fairly. that crappy Dos Garfield did. game to play on stream for you at some point, JC. Um, Alright, we needed oil and we need fuel for the ship. We have some propane uh, bolts are rusted on, so we un yeah, loosen the bolts and just unscrew the propane tank. And here we go. Yep. Yeah, I remember I had the, um... Good work. Uh, what's now his face? The gold the box tank. of, like, the, all the super old-school Dungeons and Dragons games. Well, like, Pool of Radiance and stuff like that. Kick myself, I don't have that box anymore. Hop in, and I will attempt to interface with the autopiloting system. Because GOG's got them all, but they want, like, two bucks a game, and they're not even worth, like, fucking that much. I have interfaced with the autopiloting system. Our course to Team Extreme Headquarters is now plotted and locked. Please? I know you can do it. <laughs> fucking come on, shit. I recommend you fasten your seatbelt. This could be a bumpy ride. I believe I know who is to blame for this destruction, as well as for Strata's yeah. disappearance. Yeah, we had some and old school gems on the PCs at school, that's for sure. Here we go. Uh, um, I did find all the old oh. Super Solvers well, games. I, I did enjoy those. We might have to play those Our at some point. Has expired, but we are very close to Team Extreme Headquarters. Strange. I am getting no response from Yeah, that 99 pool of radiance sucked. At the very least, Nimbo should be present. I remember there was a dud in that original collection too, there was one called uh, Hills Farm, which made it like D&D stats, but it was like arcade style, it was really weird. Okay, uh, let's go to Team Extreme Headquarters. No entry allowed. The security robot apparently does not recognize us without Stratus, and there's no telling where Nimbo is. We will have to find some way to disable that bot before we can enter headquarters. Okay. Can I just hit him with the stick? Tell me I can't... Oh, I can't belt him with the stick. Uh, hang on. <laughs> give him the stick! No, give him the stick! <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Bit of fucking... Pair of swim trunks, sure. And a fucking a alligator. Albino alligator. Yep. It must be Sid. One of the operatives brought him back from the Everglades as a pet, but he accidentally got flushed down the toilet one day. I wondered where he got to. You reckon? I would not do that. He looks hungry. Okay, so we gotta get the stick off, uh, the key off him. And there should be something here to get rid of the, uh, the security bot. This ah, is the yes. Extreme Remote Observation Station. Well, it will be when it's fixed up. Right now, we mainly use it for launching weather balloons. Nice view. Uh, yeah, and a compressor, and a hammer, and a sundial. Nice. Okay. Um, you yeah, are not authorized personnel. Let's do some maintenance on this fucking robot. Are you fucking serious? Uh, we had an IT teacher bring in. Hell yeah, jetpack. Oh yeah, it wouldn't have run on Mac though. That's very true. Swim trucks? No. Can't disable the robot with swim trunks. Okay. Anything on the ship we can kind of salvage? And no other drawers. Yeah, Storm Runner's out of fuel. Uh, this Storm Runner is completely out of fuel. We should be able to find a fully fueled Storm Runner at Team Extreme Headquarters, though. Okay. Um, oh, a rock. Okay, let's hit him with a rock then. You are not authorized personnel. Entry denied. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw the rock at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that. Ooh, piece of metal. And ooh, security card. Yep, good old rock base maintenance. To open tumbler one, convert 159 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay. Um, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, they they did actually have a formula in the database, but I'm just gonna look it up on my phone. Um, Fahrenheit to Celsius to Celsius. I remember a lot of, um, yeah, there were some good typing tutors back in the day that taught me how to type. Uh, was it, I'm not thinking of Fatty Bear, there was an older one before that called Sticky Bear. Um, yeah. 
Oh, fucking don't give me the formula. Just give me the tool that does it. Celsius. Uh, 70.556. Okay. Uh, five, six. 184 degrees, 2 Celsius. Okay. 184. You've got pictures of Sticky Bear. <laughs> Are they safe for chat? Or Discord at least? <laughs> Sticky bear. Uh, 182. I just. Oh, I did 184. Okay. Uh, 182 degrees to Celsius. Uh, 83.333. Yeah, it's not cheating. Because by rights, you'd have a calculator to be able to open the door as well. Yes. The elevator requires a security card. Stratus always left a spare around somewhere in case Nimbo locked himself out. Yeah, yeah, it was just under the fucking um, welcome mat. Okay. Headquarters appears deserted, but my scan traces are detecting a potential life form in the hangar. We should take a look, just in case. Yes. Stay alert, though. There is no telling what it might be. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> just a can of liquid nitrogen lying around, sure. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. If someone's watching this, it means <laughs> something's happened to me and the rest of Team Extreme has been put out of commission somehow. So here's the lowdown. We've been tracking this guy, the weatherman, for quite a while. He's crazy, dangerous. Up to now, we've pretty much been able to contain him. Things started happening, though. Drastic changes in the global weather patterns. And then we received this. You know, they say everyone talks about the weather, but nobody ever does anything about it. Well, that's about <laughs> to change, my friends. I think yeah, you, Stratus, that is the rest true. Of yep. team would I've had a fresh memory. It's all on the phone. I mean, weather's not just sunlight and showers and itsy-bitsy breezes. It's about power. Change. You see, everything you know as a civilization <laughs> is nothing compared to the glory and the beauty of the weather. Oh, it's true majesty. To watch it unleashed. Let it rain down like... Well, like... Like rain, I suppose. <laughs> I myself am going to unlock its true majesty. I have the keys. Bring I me have the, power. the green I pages. I have come to my own <laughs> reckoning. And it is about time. It is about me. It, well, it's about the weather, isn't it? Well, as they used to say at the Institute, show, don't tell. So, friends, keep your eyes on the sky. <laughs> wow, what a hammy bastard. If what he says is true, right now we got no reason to doubt it ain't. And we're in real trouble. <laughs> I'm just reminded of this guy kind of reminds me of. Hurt a lot of people in the Marty! Marty, we gotta do something Somehow, about your kids, Marty! You gotta find a way to help us. I got some emergency supplies stashed in the Oh, friend, that's better. Yeah, that was cash, better what so I had in put mind. That in safe so Nimble wouldn't use it on bubblegum. <laughs> now it's all up to you. And on that bombshell, now. fuck eco-friendliness. I'm off in my Jaguar. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yep, emergency evacuation, sure. Time. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's check the life form in the hangar. Uh, oh, who, who is it? No one's home right now. No one but us, uh, chicken. Dave! Dave's oh, not here! Uh, Nimbo, let us in this instant. Oh, it's you, Millibar. <laughs> His name is Nimbo. I somebody nice. coming up the lift, and I didn't know you were you. And I sort of I locked myself in the hangar. And I don't know where the key thingy is. It's, I tried beating my head up against the wall, and, and which was actually pretty cool. But now I think I <laughs> stumped my brain. Nimbo. Oh. Hey there, guys. Hey, did you ever notice that if you keep your eyes shut real tight for a long time, <laughs> it really hurts a lot. 
<laughs> Nimbo, where is the key to the hangar door? Oh, the key to the hangar door. <laughs> it's a... I ate it. No, no, I went swimming with it. I tied it to my swim trunks so I could eat it later. <laughs> but now I can't... I can't find... do that hair is gorgeous. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Even I had, I, even I didn't have oh. that bad air in the nineties. Door's still there. <laughs> I think I'll try again a little later. <laughs> Yay! Concussions are fun. All right. Um. So we gotta get the key back from <laughs> Mr. Crocodile Alligator. Sorry. <laughs> Yay. Um. Yep. Down at the swamp. Hey, Mr. Crocodile Alligator. Have some swim drugs. I don't think they're his colour. Okay. Hit him with a hammer. I would not do that. He looks hungry. <laughs> okay, so he, we need food for alligator, I guess. Um, I'll just grab... I did see the sundial here. I might just put this in. And what have we got? 6.30? Okay. Um, right. Need to remember that. Got the little thing. Okay. Um, six, three, zero. Ah, okay. Didn't like that as the time. Let's have a look at this if one. You can gain main computer access level Kappa. I can download updated navigational coordinates and a full weather database that will prove invaluable if we are to correct this anomalous weather. Oh, uh, great. Okay. Uh, answer 10 questions. What is atmospheric pressure? Um, that one? Correct. What is fog? Included front, form of monsoon, cloud on the ground. Front? Oh, not correct. Okay. Was Coralloy effect? Um, not correct. Hurricane? Yep. Tropical. Oh no. Um, not tornado. Not cumulus. Not an aquatic. Aquatic cold front? No. Not the name for a type of cloud. Um, Stiltus. Correct. What is weather? Fucking. Yeah, 40 degrees and lots of bikini girls on the beach. That's what I've seen for weather lately. Um, burp, burp, burp. Oh, yeah, changing weather conditions there. Um, causes lightning. High pressure? No. What is cloud? Holy, I don't know anything. Bloody hell. Okay. Uh, what is cloud? Um portion of the air that contains waters of water, why is the sky blue, blue light from the sun refracted in the atmosphere, yep, temperature is a measure of heat at a particular point, yep, why does the wind blow, pressure, heat, spinning of the earth, magnetic force, chemical effect, soil erosion, yep, not the type of wind, uh, Chinook, yeah, what is, oh, Chinook's a type of wind, okay, yep, yeah. <laughs> uh, following form of precipitation, snow. Coralloy effect. Um, no, okay. Uh, following tools not used to forecast the weather. A guy can Humidity. Australia, right fucking now, when it, especially when it rains. Um, man, water vapor in the air. There we go. Weather database has been restored and verified from the backup image. Database online. Nav coordinates downloaded and verified. We are locked and loaded. Okay, that's not going to help me get a key from an alligator though. Oh no, that's just my thing. Hang on. No, get... Thank you. Um... Can I just... Oh no, I need that for later, if I remember correctly. Um, so how do I feed the... <laughs> 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 
Are you smarter than a fifth grader? No. <laughs> Track time, 12 o'clock. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a rec room. Okay, let's check out the rec room. Aha! A roll of paper, a vial of mercury, and a pen. Just what I need. Oh, I could get some candy. What the hell is that meant to be? A surfboard? Ironing board in the kitchen? What is that? Um, okay, pen. What do you need with vial of mercury? Um, uh, okay, so that's going to be a extra puzzle. And the door is locked. That's <laughs> why they changed the first nappy. <laughs> That probably would have been the easy way to get the key, to be honest. Yana. I would not do that. He looks hungry. I vaguely remember having to put something on the pole. Um, we meant to. Yeah, I thought you had to just like drape the thing over his eyes. No, you don't like that. Can I grab it with the stick? No. Okay. Oh yeah, I need that for those things for a later puzzle. Okay. Um. To six thirty, I guess. Yeah, there usually is meat just lying around. That's um, that's standard for most buddy puzzles, isn't it? Um, I don't know, swampy bits. There wasn't really much else to go to. Um, upstairs again. Okay, um. So what was the point of actually. Team Extreme. Is there anything time related? Whoa, fuck! Um. Classified. Yeah, he's the evil Dr. Jonah Rainwater. <laughs> uh, okay, the meat's just hard to find. Okay. Um, fired and went into hiding. The weatherman! <laughs> what a mug. <laughs> Recent sightings. Oh, yeah, tornadoes. <laughs> Look at Stratus. <laughs> Percy, Charlie, <laughs> Alfred. Yeah, of course he's an Alfred. Nimbo was found wandering in the woods outside of headquarters during a particularly violent thunderstorm that rolled in from the mountains. Unable to locate his parents, or really anyone that knew him at all, or at least admitted to knowing him, Stratus has since adopted Nimbo and taken him under his wing. Unfortunately, Nimbo has shown a definite lack of aptitude for being a Team Extreme operative, and performs odd jobs around headquarters while training to become a full-fledged member of Team Extreme. Uh, hey there guys, is that like a tape recorder? What you gonna do with that? You gonna record me? That's cool. Can I eat it when you're done? <laughs> okay. Um, oh yeah. Ooh, geezer. Stonehenge, you say. Druids. Yes, lots of things going along. And, okay. <laughs> Nimbo the homeless ninja poop. Yep. So it's not actually giving me the option to redo the time either, it's just plugged back in. Um, nothing more on the lines of a fridge. Yeah, yeah, I think I need money for the... Anything in the change slot? No. Anything in the... just dropped in? No. I do need a quarter for that. Okay. Um, Hoping like hell I don't have to resort to a bloody walkthrough for this shit. Um, no, no, that doesn't want to work either. Hints! No hints available, what? Where's the robot? Robot usually gives me hints. Yes. 
Yeah, that's right. If you get into the safe, there's a quarter. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit mean spirited. Um. Okay. Uh, was called Operation Weather Disaster Walkthrough. Oh yeah, let's play with commentary. FMV world. Uh, Wiki giant bomb. Could have sworn I found. And I don't want to actually have to look at the bloody um, the actual other long play that actually got it right. Um, oh crap and a hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Gary Oak, that alpha man. Mm. Alright, um, so let's try... Because I this looked like something, I thought I'd be able to click on this, but it's not going to let me... Just hover over... Current time... Because I th think that was it. I think you had to put in the time, open the safe, get the quarter, get the snack, feed the to uh, alligator, and then get the uh, the key. <laughs> yeah, got to have a little bit of conflict in life, I guess. Um, oh, maybe it's 24 hour time. 1830? No. I'm hoping I don't have to, like, actually click on the fucking, um, sundial to say, yes, it's 6.30. Sundial reads 6.30, okay. Right, well, um... Oh, uh, maybe I have to actually press, like, enter or... Oh, okay, don't do that. Just walk through the door. Idea. Hey. Because, uh, yeah, literally all I had to do was plug this back in, but, um... Oh, maybe that's the, the actual red herring. Okay. Um, hang on. Ah! I was putting 06. Uh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Right, well, quarter. I bought a delicious young meat, yum yum bar. So now we've got something to feed the alligator with. <laughs> Fucking nitpicky little bastards. <laughs> uh, yes. Right. Have a yum yum bar. Yeah, fuck yeah, give me that, that key. That action would be inadvisable. Uh, Despite your advertiser, he still apparently expects a main course. Hmm. Well, I got... Grab it with the stick. Good. Um, and it's funny too that the fact I've got like liquid nitrogen and a hammer, but I can't use it to actually break the lock. I have to use it to break a lock in here specifically. All right, let's go see Nimbo. Hey, Millibar, little buddy, how you doing? I am not your little buddy, and I have been better. We need to be able to utilize the storm runner as soon as possible. I'm receiving reports of anomalous or abnormal weather in Britain that we should investigate. Abnormal weather in Britain, you don't cool. fucking say. Say, can I have that key thing of a jiggy doofus? I was feeling kind of hungry. No, Nimbo, you cannot have the hangar key. What about the storm runner? Well, it's okay. Finders, sweepers, losers, beepers. That's what I always say. The storm runner? Please? Well, uh, when everybody else took off, they took all the other storm runners, and, and I kind of like the sort decided to hide. And, well, there was this one storm runner left, and, you know, I always wanted to know how it worked. So, like, if it was hamsters or a gerbil or maybe both. So, I decided to, uh... Uh-oh. Yeah, uh -oh. I sort of took <laughs> some stuff out so I could find out where the hamsters were. But they'd already run off. And so I, I, I couldn't get anything back in there to fit. So I had to step on it, like... You know, like I do with a peanut butter and salmon sandwich when it doesn't quite fit in your mouth. 
Well, now I just can't. Uh, what get, is that on his forehead? To, uh, to work? Yeah, work. But the, there's some supplies in the locker, so I thought maybe you could fix it. But no one gave me a key. They thought I might lose it or I might eat it. I was like, I wouldn't need a locker key. They taste terrible. <laughs> All right, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Smashy. The locker. So, what do we get? Copper wire. Turbo. Mercabulator. Okay. That is a glyph reader. It is an experimental piece of technology that Stratus was working on before, before he disappeared. It uses advanced <laughs> fuzzy logic to translate symbols that my cipher banks are unable to handle. Okay. Well, let's see what needs. We cannot operate the Storm okay. Runner until we somehow replace the Turbo Mercabulator that Nimbo has broken. Do we have to stick it in a drawer or something? Yep, turbo my calculator. There we go. Oh, well that was fucking easy. Okay. I have interfaced with the Stormrunner autopiloting system. The entire Salisbury plane is being flooded by an unexpected storm system. He took out like one part. Responsible for these disturbances. <laughs> we must have determined how he is doing this. And the best way to do that is to go to the scene of the crime. Kelly Hope. The weatherman was once a real weatherman at a television station in Arizona, but then something happened. Our records indicate that he was obsessed with destructive weather, but the weather in Arizona was normally very calm. One day, he simply snapped. He went crazy during a broadcast and began forecasting tornadoes, uh, hurricanes, and... Ah, that's why the weatherman went crazy. He was stuck in fucking Arizona. Yeah, frequencies. I will display it on the vidcom. Middle ball, we thought she'd be deactivated, mate. Down, but not out. I've made a new friend who was resourceful enough to bring me back online. Did I mention well, I dislike horses? We can surely use your help. <laughs> I'm transmitting from the Team Extreme substation in London. It's uh, a trifle wet down here. Something of a downright washout, actually. The lightest thing from Canterbury is that there's been six inches of rain in the past hour, and it doesn't show any signs of stopping. Anyways, our Doppler radar is showing the worst of the storm activity is centered around Stonehenge of all places. Stonehenge! We're hoping you pop by, take a look at things and report back what we try and see what we can do on this end. We will attempt to determine the source of the storm anomaly, Alfred. Please take care. Hey, will do. This is Alfred. Over and out. Stonehenge was originally <laughs> built by the Druids as a way to mark the seasons, but my sensors are detecting readings that are not the norm for this he area. He may be telling us the six second bongers and drunk conclusions. Tea. We should investigate the area. <laughs> Here we go, Stonehenge. Right, okay. Uh, climb up there. Uh, nothing... Local barometric pressure has not been stabilized. Okay. That's the issue. <laughs> Just steal a sign. <laughs> and a large rock. Okay. Um, alright. Ooh. Ah, there's some gum. Okay. For soul's reasons. <laughs> Grab your things, I've come to take you home. Good old fucking Peter Gabriel. Uh, can we put... <laughs> you can almost touch the gum with your pole. Okay. Ancient stone altar, probably used by druids. Hmm. Right, other well, exciting things are at Stonehenge. Can we put... Ah! Ah, cool, we can climb over the top. <laughs> there is no record of an object oh, such as this in any previous survey of Stonehenge. It must have been activated by some hidden emergency system. Hmm, okay. I'm usually pretty good at these. Uh... Yeah, case in point. ancient druids used such instruments. The carving seemed to relate to the wind, or the wind direction. Ah, so let's stick a sign out. Okay, 
touch the compass direction that the wind is blowing from. Oh, blowing from. Mm. Come on. Seismic readings indicate that something is ha happening. Aha! The altar. Quickly, let us go see where that passage leads. Yes, let's. Okay. <laughs> Um, no, go back. There we go. Um, okay. The altar. No access allowed. You have been warned. That bot is a Storm Chaser Series 3000 weather bot, but it has been reprogrammed somehow, probably by the weatherman. We must find a way past it. The answers to a great number of questions are most definitely down there. Yes, can we hit it with stick? Um, Mercury pen. Throw swim trunks at it. No, fuck. Um, couple wire. Hmm. Can't reach the gun. Is that all I can get to? Or anything in the storm runner that'll work? No, nothing in the drawers. Um, okay. No, that's back to the storm runner. It's back up there. Move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> it's even got a British accent. <laughs> um, <laughs> your credit card. Um, actually, I vaguely remember there was something I can put on. I put the pen on the end of the <laughs> Every day! Oh! Just for the bitty thing. Ah, <laughs> um. oh, uh, hang on. Um, I think I can put something down here to stand on top of. Um. Can't use a couple wire on tearing monuments. That would be silly. Can I grab that? rock again, maybe. No. And can't grab that. You think I'd... Oh, no. Pretty far distance. Couldn't jump across the top. Hmm. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Can't take anything off the ship. Oh, it's even got a fucking Discovery logo on it. Okay. So they must be funding these eco warriors. Yeah, it's far out of your reach. Then rub those together. Wooden pole. No. That's frustrating. Okay. Um. So how do we get rid of? Probably something I've missed. There's probably one more item I need to A, get rid of the robot, or B, get that gun. And it just keeps sending me up here, doesn't it? Straight back to there, and I can't actually grab the sign again. Um, hmm. I've been that way, I've been that way. Been to the storm chaser. Use a pen on a piece of gum. Can't use some swim trucks on a piece of gum. With Frida. Um. Ah, oh, that's frustrating because it's just out of reach, isn't it? Have I got anything to stand on? Hints? How very messy. Leaving an old piece of gum stuck to an ancient monument like that. I suppose you would be doing a good deed if you properly disposed of it. But first, you would have to find a way to reach it. Oh, you don't fucking say. Yeah. Um, give me a hint about the robot then. Move along. Keep your distance from that bot. With all the water around here, his lightning bolts could prove hazardous. Uh, water you say? Okay. No, lightning bolt won't let you come closer. Move along. Nothing to see here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
they usually need. Oh, I just, okay, I apparently just throw pieces of copper wire at it to short it out. <laughs> you were right with the copper though, dude. It got rid of it. Amazing. Nice. This room contains technology far in advance of anything possessed by the druids. There are <laughs> rumors of another people, the ancients, who lived long ago. They were supposedly able to control the weather, but there has never been any proof of their existence until now. Well, there you go. Okay. Aha! A crooked piece of metal. That could come in handy. Oh dear. Yep, yep. Match the things. Great. And it's just slightly harder because of the fucking um, more squares. specifically what the symbols are for yet. I think you just have to solve the puzzle and um, you figure it out. Because yeah, there's a shit ton of puzzles here. We have to use the ancient technology to sort out Scotland's weather. And those were right fucking next to each other. Great. Stonehenge. Ah, uh, yeah, this was... Aha! A stool. There we go. Alright, I'll go get that gum. I have digitized and filed this carving for further reference. In the future, you can access my database to examine the stored image. Stool down and hit it with the stick. Yay, we have some gum. Ah, uh, I want the stool though. Oh, hang on. Um, can we... Can't molest the bot. Okay. So pretty much everything we need to do is now down here. This is very peculiar. Allow me to consult my database. This item is extremely similar to an aneroid barometer, but it has been damaged somehow. From its heat signatures, I have determined that it was used quite recently, probably by the weatherman, and then sabotaged. I'm I do not think I like it very much. Okay. Uh, so plug that up, paper down, we put a pen on there, and a crank, and now we have a barometer, nice. 25.5 and falling. Um, so we got... Yeah, there was the thing in there, I haven't checked this yet. This appears to be a manual override device for controlling local barometric pressure in case automatic control failed. Just a moment. I cannot determine why, but automatic pressure control is not functioning. We must bring the device online and manually correct the barometric pressure ourselves to stop these storms before the area is flooded. Okay, um, so from what I remember you go here, you go into here and it tells you yeah, what the symbols mean. So that's zero, that's one. Um, God. <laughs> um, okay, so two, three, five. 
that's nine, so that's a sun is ten. Yep, yeah, okay, easy enough. <laughs> Mondays. Um, so what was the barometric pressure? It was 25.5, so we want... Um, the device will come online if we can input the correct code, but my internal cipher banks are not familiar five, with this equipment. Point five. Beautiful. Oh god, I remember this. Right, so this is apparently the way to fix the weather. You have to, um... Place the cursor and target again. Okay, so we have to move the green things and zap the red thing. And get it before they... we get got. Okay, whoop. Okay. So I remember having to do this in Egypt as well. Spoilers, we go to Egypt. Ah. <laughs> War games. Yeah, it's hard because you're expected to do like analog control. Well, mouse is kind of analog control, but still, still a pain in the ass. Could do this so much easier with like a fucking jewel shop or something. Exciting fun of shooting green things with red things. Red. Oh, fucking cock that up, didn't I? Oh, they're getting faster. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. And still button mash at least. Ah. No, if I can go over there. Yeah, <laughs> that music's getting to me a bit too. Ah, there we go. A couple more. I think I legit have an easier time with fucking Missile Commander over this. Bloody hell. And we got Excellent it. work. I have seen reports on broadband weather radio that the storms are already beginning to clear. We should return to headquarters now to analyze the information we have gathered. Fuck, we can we're see Nimbo again. Damn it. Oh. Alright. So that's all we had to do in Stonehenge. Yay. And I just realised too now that we've got um, now that we've got QuickTime working, uh, potentially Wheel of Fortune could work as well. Hold on, just a moment. Nilavar, Doctor told me you were back online. I am still operational, but we have a big problem. Hello, Bernard. What are yeah, you doing? the weather, man. I know. Josie had a split in head on that threatened to run the place over with a bunch of tornadoes. She made the correct decision. We do not know what Stay tuned for my yeah, next we'll Pokemon LB. We've got major level problems of our own out here. <laughs> the temperature has gone crazy in the last few hours. It's been dropping like a stone nearly 100 degrees. He's nearly degrees got the same to the too, I love it. I have been able to localize <laughs> the center of the temperature drop to the Giza Plateau of all places. If you and your new pal can go check it out, I'll stay on top of things here. In the meanwhile, I've got my hands full just trying to keep the camels from turning yeah, to popsicles. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thanks, God. My secret okay. shame. Not knowing whether the grade 10 weather. This must be another weather control point that the weatherman has somehow gained access to. We must find the control center and correct this problem quickly. Ooh, uh, a little bit cold in Egypt. Okay. 
This could be the work of Dio and or possibly an enemy stand. Magnifying glass. Chisel. Looks like an archaeologist left in the middle of a dig. Okay. This is... Ooh, something in the ice. A scarab. Half a scarab. Okay. And, oh, some salt. A... Ah, oh, a thermos. Okay. Cool. I think that's all we... Oh, shovel. Cool. And we've got the Sphinx, we've got the Pyramids. Ah, uh, yep, need another half of the Scarab. Okay. And... What are those big cat boys doing? Hey, you big kitty. What a big cutie. You want to cuddle? Give me a cuddle. Uh, okay, so we need another half of the Scarab. Oh, I'll dig it with the shovel, yeah. Scarab, cool. Right. Scarab, scarab. Through the hole. Ah, oh, scroll crumbled. Sweden right now. Yeah, um, I was talking to Seth earlier and he was saying it was minus 11 in Canada at the moment. They are pretty cold all around. Wish you guys had sent some of it this to me. This puzzle would have been extraordinarily so, difficult for any and JC, we need to solve. Cool we we need some ice. Never seen a snowflake. I wonder who created the puzzle then. Okay. Um. So I need the database for this one. Uh, because help. Yeah, it's very helpful and shows you. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Snowflake. Yes. Uh, no, S. No flake. Righties, okay. Um, so, what's... Oh, it's all in Fahrenheit shit. Okay. So it goes, what, thin plates, plates, columns, sectors... Oh no, hang on, plates, columns... Plate, column, and then it's, um, we get the, the same page, yes, thank you, um, so plates, columns, um, oh no, sorry, plates, needles, columns, plates, dendrites, um, plates, needles, columns, there we go. And, oh, something happened outside, okay. And, haha, -ha, stairway. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. And I know how to get rid of this guy. You have to, have to shoot the thermos at him. Because he's a cold boy, we've got to warm him up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, the steps are icy, so we break them up with salt. There we go. This must be the control room. The energy signature here is almost identical to the one beneath Stonehenge. Only an extremely advanced society would have been capable of this technology. Maybe the ancients are not as mythical as we thought. Maybe not. Um, oh yeah, this was an interesting kind of puzzle, because um, you can actually hmm. turn the central the Sphinx's head. The central carving resembles the Sphinx. While the placement of the two smaller icons suggests that they are the Great Pyramid and one of the Lesser Pyramids. This is obviously a control panel of some kind. Hmm. Okay. How interesting. Those mirrors are designed to catch and reflect the sun. Maybe by setting the wheels correctly, we can align one or both of them. Okay. Uh, align it to where though? Yeah, yeah, I did manage to figure out most of it though. And we're at least, yeah, closer than what we were last time, definitely. There we go. We have successfully aligned one mirror, but the second mirror atop the Great Pyramid does not appear to be catching the sunlight. Okay, so we gotta go to the other pyramid to catch the sunlight. This looks like another manual override device, similar to the one we used in Stonehenge to correct the barometric pressure. If we can find some way to activate it, we should be able to use this device to correct the temperature here in Giza. 
Yep. Okay. Um, and we had to. Yep. Freeze this in the shape of a key. There we go. And I don't think we could actually. An ancient thermometer. And someone has already been here before us and sabotaged it as well. Sabotage, you say. Okay. Let's clog it up with wax. Put some mercury in it. Okay. Okay. Doesn't solve. So we go back to. Yeah, because I remember that's where I was stuck. I wasn't expecting the water to instantly freeze into this key. Yeah. My uh, cyber banks it's... have translated those hieroglyphs to mean sun box. It is apparently a very elaborate lock designed to guard the king's inner chamber. I remember this puzzle being tricky but kind of interesting. To proceed, reflect the light into the eye of Horus. Okay. Yeah, because he had switches. So there's mirrors inside here, but you can't see the mirrors. Um, There we go. Easy. And upstairs, realign. These wheels appear to be symbolic of the very. <laughs> Solve that in fucking two seconds. Nice. Both mirrors now seem to be aligned and directed towards the Sphinx. Yeah, I but forgot the glyphs actually gave you. The beam of sunlight um, reflected by the hits. mirrors must be used to activate something, but I'm not sure what. Okay. Giza, and turn the head. Analysis of there we go. Indy, they're digging in the wrong place. Okay, um, right. There's a hole in the obelisk. And we can put a magnifying glass. Pew pew! My scan traces show that the yes. manual temperature override device is now activated, but we still need the correct code to bring it online. Ah, uh, yep, yep, yep. I know what we're doing. So we're checking the temperature. It's minus 25. And we're going at minus 20. 25. Ah, uh, another fucking mini game again. Okay. Right, let's do it. Pew, 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 pew. I'm gonna take you down, Dio. Which reminds me, uh, I think there's a fair bit of part five out for Jojo. Might have to find some of that. Mean to. I think I was gonna. I was. Yeah, I was trying to catch up and get all of the English dub for Stardust Crusaders because it actually wasn't too bad. I think that all should be done by now. dub <laughs> it's not a bad dub it's got McCree from Overwatch's Jotaro he does an okay job <laughs> you're no real weird dude <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I'm actually hanging, uh, we've got a convention coming up in April, and um, they've just announced Nolan North and Troy Baker, so hopefully we'll be able to do a retro replay live. Because I don't care that they play games, I just like that they sit around and talk shit. They're good guys. Good work. Ah, the temperature is already beginning to rise. Time. Soon this area will become the scorching desert it is supposed to be. I suggest we return to headquarters now. We must find a way to stop the weatherman before the situation grows any worse. 
Yes, and all we have to beat him with is um, a pair of swim trunks and a stick and a glyphorator. We got this unlock. We're good. Okay, but back to the ship. I can't remember where we ended up uh, this time. Let's see how we go. Something is not right. I was receiving downlink data from the Team Extreme Weather Satellite concerning a massive weather disturbance in the Pacific when the feed was interrupted. Some form of electrical interference has blocked the signal. The weatherman is most likely. Uh, the labar? Yeah. You went there. The labar. Yes, Nimbo. What is it? I'm scared. There is no need to be frightened, Nimbo. Lightning is simply a natural electrical phenomenon. Yeah, so do face. Two place is not an electrical. Say, Nimbo, <laughs> how would you like to help us out? <laughs> She's just like, toothpaste is not, just, that's not the point, Charles. Yes, you. <laughs> you could send up one of the mini weather balloons with the radio. Yeah, the, the mini weather balloon, that's one of those, looks like a hot dog, right? No. Yes, yes, one of the things that looks like a hot dog. Make sure it has a radio attached. Take it to the remote observation station, the play port, and blow it up. We'll be there shortly. Yes, sir, Millibar Man, sir. I'll get right on it. I cannot believe that it has come to this. Well, let's hope for the best. <laughs> the mini weather balloons are equipped with radios to transmit weather data back to headquarters. The radio should also be able to boost the signal from the Team Extreme weather satellite and break through the interference from the lightning storm. No doubt this lightning storm has been created by the weatherman to prevent us from finding out what he is up to. But what could he be doing in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? I wonder. Okay, um... I do not detect Nimbo anywhere in headquarters. Perhaps he was actually able to launch the mini weather balloon, though I would not bet any processor cycles on it. We should be able to find him at the remote observation station where the play fort is located. And that was the foresty bit. Yep. Just like you said, what coding violation did I commit to deserve this? <laughs> Nimbo, you were supposed to use the compressed air tank to blow up the mini weather balloon. Can't. Why not? Because there's no knob to turn it on with, silly. Nimbo, where is the knob to the compressed gas tank? Well, since you guys never let me play with any of the cool toys like the hobo tank or the acetylene blowtorch, I had to play with my old toy, and the wheel broke off, and the knob sort of fit, so then the batteries ran down. No, let me guess. You took the batteries from the radio. Yep. And you left the toy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we shall just have to locate Nimbus toy. It is extremely important that we launch that weather balloon if we are to stop the weatherman. Bar. I'm feeling kind of woozy like, so I think I'll just fly down for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> At least you will be out of trouble for a while. Yes. Nimbo was here. Okay. Grab a knife. <laughs> the radio is dead. We need to find some batteries for it before we can send it up with the mini weather balloon. The knob to the compressed air tank is missing. Without it, we cannot use the compressed air tank to inflate the mini weather balloon. We will need to find that knob in order to turn the tank on, or off for that matter. Okay, so we need... What's that alligator doing? Hi Sid, how are you doing? Nice alligator. Okay, sorry to bother you, never mind. I think that Sid is still digesting. Something. Perhaps we should leave him be for now. To cut him open, he's got the toy in there. Look, do you have something against giant albino alligators? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I can't exactly get a game over, can I? Not if I could see Eric here. 
Right, so let's go hunt for the toy. Uh, hunt for the toy. Go up. No. Mm. Get in the there we go. Okay. Right, any more messages for us? Nope. Um, okay. Nothing in the safe. Anything in the hangar? Oh, there's another locker that's locked. Okay. There is something very peculiar about this terminal. Just a moment while I interface with it. No, I most certainly will not. You keep your private key encryption algorithm to yourself. Thank you very much. The nerve of some dumb terminals. The However, nerve! I don't blame it for its behavior. <laughs> it has apparently been infected with a computer virus created by the weatherman. We will have to pass the access test in order to purge the virus and use the terminal. Okay. Right, more questions. What is the driest place on Earth? Chile. <laughs> There's a place in Australia called Weibo. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kazakhstan. Not correct. What? Okay. Chile. Chile. Deadliest flash flood. Oh, as if I knew this. New Orleans. No. Deadliest weather disaster. Great Blizzard of Maine. Kansas. Oh, there's a tornado called Dorothy's Lament. Wow. Uh, tornadoes? No. Freshwater Fury. Hey, this is how to do it. Speedrun! Woo! Ha 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 Take that, learning. <laughs> um, oh, need to launch the balloon transmitter. Okay. Alright, does this clock work now? I can grab the time. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, here we go. Batteries. Pop the car off. Got batteries for the radio. And there should be a knob on here. Ah, the air compressor knob. Teeter-totter Hindenburg with real exploding action. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Well, if they're not going to penalise me for the wrong answer, fucking... I've done tests like that before as well, just... Fucking do rare. Yeah, you get to the end of the test, you panic, you just fill in the, uh, the little dots. As quick as you can. That's how you smash it. Right. Radio transmitter. Not for the air compressor. Woo! Blue his way, check the main computer. Okay. And I don't think I've got much further than this part. I'm interested to see how the the swim trunks are gonna factor into puzzles. I now have access to the Team Extreme Weather Satellite data feed. We can examine the information in real time at the holotank. Oh, okay. You said go to the main computer. The data feed from the Team Extreme Weather Satellite is coming through now. Analysis indicates that the Pacific Ocean weather system that I previously detected is in fact a hurricane. Actually, a hyper-hurricane. Hurricanes are nothing more than tremendously efficient heat engines. They use heat energy the same way a car uses gas. I have triangulated the location of the energy source that is feeding the hurricane, but it is several miles beneath the ocean surface. Luckily, the Storm Runner has a submersible mode that will allow us to travel underwater. Ooh. We should leave as soon as possible to investigate. I am sure that somehow the weatherman is involved. Port Storm Runner immediately. Okay. Let's go. Yes, I like this remix of floor sweeping. This is the closest anyone has ever been to a hyper hurricane. Nearly 20 miles high, 500 miles in diameter, with wind speeds of over 300 miles per hour. Hold on, I'm receiving a coded ultraviolet priority transmission from our Team Extreme substation in Okinawa. This is Josie from Okinawa. We're currently reading a storm surge of over 12 feet and it's rising rapidly. Wind speeds are increasing and pressure's falling very quickly. We've lost our radar feed from Japan and all satellite imagery with it. I've never heard of. 
I'm sure that the weatherman is somehow responsible for this. Figures. Well, I've ordered everyone to evacuate the coastal areas immediately, but I don't know how much that's going to help if this thing moves any closer. It's a monster. If there's anything you can do to stop it, we will do our best. That's all I can ask. Over and out. Ooh, our structural integrity is close to max. Luckily, we are not going into the hurricane, but under it. Activating submersible transformation. Make sure your seatbelt is fastened. You're prepared to die. We are going in. Incredible. An entire city underwater. There are many legends of underwater or sunken cities, but they are all about the same city, the city of Atlantis. This must be Atlantis. I think I have located a method of entry. Hold on. Yes, let's go right through the into the city's bubble. My scan traces are picking up an energy signature identical to the ones from Stonehenge and Giza. Atlantis is probably another weather control point that the weatherman has used to create the hyper hurricane. And this time we may have a chance to meet the weatherman face to face. Okay. We've got Stormrunner. Now weather in extremis. Okay. It stands to reason that these gangplanks must operate according to some principle of the weather. A force that would push against them to swing them back and forth. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, it's more than one sunken city other than Atlantis, for sure. Have a flag. This panel looks like it might allow us to gain entry to the pyramid, but it appears to be deactivated. We need to find a way to reactivate it. My analysis indicates that this pedestal is part of a complex network of similar pedestals scattered throughout the city. Those controls on the pedestal probably affect local weather conditions, but my cipher banks are unable to provide any more information. Sorry. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice bridge. Incredible. The massive equipment here would seem to indicate that this was some sort of engineering center, but all energy readings are now flat. Some of this equipment may have been used to provide power to other parts of the city. Okay. A visual comparison of that structure with my database indicates that it is a turbine of some kind, like those used in dams to generate power from running water. Yeah. <laughs> Made entirely from wheat yes. This carving looks like a power flow diagram. That large image on the right most probably represents the power generator. However, something seems to be missing from the center of the diagram. We've said control room entry power flow. Okay. So yeah, we are going to need something there. Ah, um. uh, hang on. It's ah, cliff reader. That'll help. This is the good for pressure. Humidity, temperature. Okay. Um, so probably need hot air. Yeah, it's got a bit of a Phantasmagoria 2 vibe to it, doesn't it? I miss you, Trevor. I left you. Oh, there's more than one area in here. Okay. Machine is not active. Ah. <laughs> Let's touch electricity. Let's be like Nimbo. Okay, so I've got to electrify something. And is this back to... Yeah, it's back to here. I kind of want this pole, though. Give me the pole. Uh, probably need the flag for something as well. Did I go this way? Yeah, I did the ice bridge there. Ooh, elevator. Ah, okay. Um. Ooh. Cool, okay. From here, the ancients could watch as ships from across the globe traded at the plaza below. What an incredible sight it must have been. Can you imagine? And then they disappeared, like Stratus. 
I wonder if the same thing will happen to us. Bit of flipping down, aren't you? Um, okay. Right, the glyph reader. Pressure. Okay. You seem to have created a pressure gradient. My sensors are now detecting a wind blowing across the plaza. Perhaps these controls use the wind to move those gangplanks. Ah. Oop. Okay, I'm guessing we need to go left or right with the... Oh, maybe I have to create like a tornado or something like that. Hmm. Oh no, that's specifically the direction. Hang on. Can I have a hint? My database contains extensive information on the phenomena of wind that should prove very helpful in this situation. Yeah, just don't give me a flat out hint or anything, can you? Um, pressure. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Okay. Aroma, we've done. Pressure, done. Anything else? Wind anatomy. Okay. Uh, tornado begins as a cloud spinning at the bottom of a large. Cumulonimbus low nimbus cloud, as the tornado cloud descends towards the ground, it spins faster and faster, and sometimes takes on the shape of a funnel. Rotating more clown. Viral updraft. Uh, doesn't really tell anything about... Oh yeah, water spouts. Uh... According to something called the Fujita Wind Damage Scale, sometimes called the F Scale. Um, oh, okay, we're probably going to have to work something out. Wind related, I'm sure. So that's just about tornadoes though, isn't it? Um, ah, okay, maybe we can make a sail. And blow it with some air. Okay. Streams. Local winds. Wind chill. Hmm. Okay. Because, yeah, it really s only really seems like I can do direction. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I only seem to be able to do, like, direction at different strengths, I guess. Yeah, I can't really wrap my head around that at the moment. Can I, um... Am I just going... Okay, there's only two floors. Alright. Um, right. So... Yeah, we did the ice bridge. We need something to put in there. Ah, oh, there's a screen here. Okay, we can freeze something. All won't fit. Zoom trunks. Nope. Flag. There's an amendment against that, you know. <laughs> and that's back out here again. Anything on the pole? No. Swim trunks. Aha! The swim trunks. Okay. Right, so I guess we can now see how the weather's affected downstairs. Let's see if I can see the actual flag from up here. No, I had it set right before. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Doesn't seem to be affecting the actual flag down there, though. Maybe I have to do like a sail of some sort. Okay, um. Yeah, we can't kind of, um, Did we do everything in here though? I don't think we did. Electricity thing, that's back out. That's the frozen thing. Okay. Hmm. There should be a control system around somewhere that will allow us to create the wind necessary to move the gangplank. Perhaps we should explore some more. Uh, okay. So we actually have to get the gangplank out to here. Okay. Um, so we should be able to do that um, and there's probably goody in the actual thing in the actual thing to let us do that okay let's try that yeah it seems that way um, can we just have it go but there's obviously more to it than that <clears throat> And I'm not sure if that's going to be enough of a sale to actually get out My there. database contains extensive information on the phenomena of wind that should prove very helpful in this situation. Maybe we have to do, like, a combination of both, or... Wind's really blowing. Sorry, the mouse cursor keeps getting stuck. And this is... Ah, okay, hang on. If I go the opposite for that one. Just have as much wind as I can going in the right... No. Aha! There we go. Wind blows a plank to the ship. Nice. Cool. Alright. Um, boop, boop. Okay. Hello, Dr. Rainwater. All evil security measures are in full force. I'll open the door as soon as you input the correct combination. Thanks for your patience, you evil genius, you. Um, correct combination. Okay. Uh, Dr. Rainwater, are you feeling alright? Surely you haven't forgotten the code. Shouldn't need to remind you that you need to rank the weather phenomena on the keypad from deadly most deadly to least deadly, do I? Uh, so let's go... Fucking hurricane, flood, tornado? Hang on. Uh, mouse keeps sticking. Could it be an imposter? I bet you're not really Dr. Rainwater. If you are, prove it. Um, so did we have something in here about deadliest? Get card? Oh yeah, there was specific, um, deadliest. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> the good security alarms just beep at the thieves. The evil ones send out elemental robots. Very true. Um, I should, probably should have been paying attention to the actual thing, shouldn't I? Uh, that question about what was deadliest. Um, I'll go lightning least. Up to hurricane. <laughs> You'll get no help from more no more help from me, sir. No sir, no how. Um tornado, hurricane. Um hurricane. Fucking brute force it. There we go. <laughs> oh yes, you're now Dr. Rainwater. Fair enough. Ooh, he's got a fancy ship. Magnifying glass, okay. Uh, ooh, tape player. Things to do. Return overdue videos. Stormy Monday turned in. Groceries. Delightful tornado salad seasoning. Neat chives and onions. Two servings. Send birthday card to Dr. Scott. Care of Institute for Deranged and or Evil Meteorologists. <laughs> Unleash evil weather. Destroy world tomorrow. Vote. 
get gremlin from shop. Mechanic B. Shatner. <laughs> In prison Stratus. He's just crossed that one thing off the list. Okay. Um... So is there anything else I could actually grab in here? Oh, here we go. A crystal beaker. Excellent. That's a start. Um, hang on. I'm just wondering why the mouse keeps getting stuck on things. Um, okay. Back out. Back out. Right, so we should be able to power on this device. Okay. Beaker. Right. Um, and we had a if program power entry flow. Yep. We just gotta get this turbine on. This is obviously another one of the weather control pedestals we have previously encountered. Except this one is apparently linked to that generator hanging from the ceiling. If it really does act like a turbine in a dam, we need to find some way to use a combination of pressure, temperature, and humidity to create a flow of running water. Ah, okay. Um, so temperature should be normal. Humidity should be high. Pressure should be low. No. Is, uh, all up. Down. Oh, there energy we go. readings are now spiking. That turbine is generating tremendous amounts of energy. Sweet. Yep, okay, we got power. Yep, when in doubt, fiddle. That's how I roll. But we've got something there we need to Okay. Up this. Excellent. The power readings from the panel are consistent with those from the turbine. The panel should now be active. Try using those controls to open the door. Well, that was not very helpful. Allow me to consult my cipher banks. My cipher banks are not very good with code breaking, but I have been able to determine that a green indicator corresponds to a correct symbol in the correct place, while a yellow indicator is a correct uh, symbol in an incorrect okay. place. Red indicators show symbols that are neither. You should be able to use these indicators to deduce the sequence of symbols that will open the door. Okay, um, so there's definitely a... These two. Uh, yep. Ah, oh, yep, yeah, one correct. Um, let's go... All symbols... That's correct. Ah, uh, oh, okay. And just scroll through till we get it right. There we go. <laughs> ah, our nemesis. Made it inside, did you? Well, you're just in time. I've nearly got this gizmo figured out, and that's when the real fun begins. <laughs> With this technology, I can send hurricanes the size of California just spinning around the globe, just like that, and like that. Technically, I could send them like that, like that. <laughs> I'm beginning to float away myself. Tsunamis, floods, tidal waves, and those, those are just appetizers. <sighs> I'm sure the results will be quite impressive. <clears throat> if you get a chance, you should stick around. But, uh, you really gotta be getting back. I'm double parked, and I got the window cracked. <laughs> That is amazingly good hammy acting. <laughs> oh, and he's across the... We must hurry and find a way to deactivate the terminal before the weathermen can cause any more damage. A hygrometer. Though I have not seen one quite like this before. This must have been used by the ancients to measure humidity. Okay. Oh, I gotta put water in the bucket, I guess. Um. Hey! What are you doing over there? That's 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 not important. I wouldn't even bother visiting that. Don't bother. Get out. Ah, not it important. Alone. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Manual override <laughs> for the terminal power flow. Okay. Access code: red, blue, green, purple, yellow. Okay. Let's write that one down. Uh, 
In the bucket. Yep, cheers, man. Uh, can we just go into water? Oh no, hang on. No, not in the ship. Get out of the ship. Bucket of water. Okay. Um, and we have a freezer to freeze the bucket. Electrical thing to electrify the bucket if we really need it. Yeah, yeah, some of the memorized memorization ones are a pain in the ass. Um, okay, so if I wanted to melt the ice, I can. Hydrometer dearly. Oh no, wrong way. Wrong way. Go this way. Hang on, there's another flag back there. Can I have that flag? And the flag. Yeah. Oh, okay, I just grabbed the opposite one from before. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's, yeah, I know some games find it, like, that fucking important that you need to remember that, or you can't, either can't. Yeah, I froze the water, I, um, unfroze it when I put it through, uh, the electrical field to get it, to go back and freeze it. <gasps> oh, ooh, handler not defined, get propped? What? Um, okay, I just... Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. Um, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, yep. Hopefully I can... Yes, save game. Hopefully it's not going to bloody save it in the state. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Curse you and your breaking of old 20 year old ISOs. Alright, um, tell me, hang on. Oh, fuck, I had a save game from last time. Shit. Wow. Fucking puzzle, no work. Alright, save this one. No, I don't want the credits. Give me that back. Jump back in. And at the very least, we've got a save game from back at Giza. And worse comes to worse, I can... I'm at least recorded this far, and... Uh, it's alright. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, we know this. Yeah, go on. I'd say... <gasps> no! Piss! Piss! Ah! They wanted me to put it in the description. Piss. Alright. <laughs> uh, I think it might be time to just leave it there tonight. <laughs> Come back to this another day. Cat food! Cat food! Cat food! Again! And we're back. Um, so yeah, I got back through to where I was previously. Um, I found out the save games don't actually work for... Um, they don't start you from this spot. They start you from the start of the actual uh, thingy. Yes, we finally confront the weatherman. Made it inside, did you? 
Well, you're just in time. I've nearly got this gizmo figured out, and that's when the real fun begins. <laughs> With this technology, I can send hurricanes the size of California just spinning around the globe just like that. And like that. Technically, I could send them like that. Just like that. <laughs> I'm beginning to float away myself. Tsunamis, floods, tidal waves, and those, those are just appetizers. <sighs> I'm sure the results will be quite impressive. I kind of love not Jeff mm. Faye. You get He's a chance, very good stick at around. acting. But, uh, really got to be getting back. I'm devil parked and I've got the window cracked. <laughs> you know, pits. He's double parked in a uh, undersea base where there's no other traffic. Yep. Okay. Um, so, to solve this puzzle, um, oh yeah, we actually need that in a second, but, um, hey, what are you doing over there? That's, that's, that's not important. I wouldn't even bother this with that. Don't bother with that. Just leave it alone. So we have magnifying glass and the torch, <laughs> and that refracts the light and gives us pretty colours. And the sequence I've written down previously, so it's red, blue, green, purple, yellow. Hey, no, no, don't touch that. Get away from that thing. I said leave it alone. Go on, get. No. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. So, here I am, minding my own business, and you've got to come along and spoil all my fun. Well, no tea for you. I hate to interrupt. But I have detected a dramatic rise in the local humidity. The weatherman has so unbalanced the humidity control system that Atlantis is flooding as we speak. <laughs> the knob. Well, that fuck you. Gotta go. Gotta go. Come on. Doesn't even like capture us or anything. Just walk straight across the bench past us. Okay. Um, so now we put this back. Which fixes things up. And we gotta fix up the humidity with this control device, but we need to know what the current humidity is to get that right. Uh, so, oh, piss. Um, I was actually meant to grab that bucket. In his rush to escape, the weatherman has dropped something. And I uh, need that key, don't I? Um, I'll grab the key while I'm down here and head back up. Yep. And grab my bucket. A hygrometer. Though I have not seen one quite like this before. This must have been used by the ancients to measure humidity. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck these ancients are. Put a bucket of water. Um, so we want... Where is it? This one. No. This one. And we freeze our buckets. ice buckets that we can use to measure the humidity in our made up fucking hydrometer. Uh, okay, back through here. And it's the same as the other puzzles, um, so it just says, yep, relative humidity is 99.6. The energy got signature the here is identical in. to the ones from Stonehenge in the States. This must be the control center for humidity. You think There's you'd just no be able to work out by logic, logic but anyway. Here. Right, so another shooting mini game. This is probably the weakest part of the game for me, if we're being honest, and it's unfortunately part of the final fight with the weatherman. It sucks a little bit. Oop, oop, oop. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Shoot that thing. Yeah, while I'm doing this, uh, it's been an interesting Australia Day so far. I looked on Twitter to post those streaming. Uh, Sausage Mrs. has a toothache. Hope she does okay. Um, but I saw, because it's it's not technically Australia Day. Twenty Australia Day is the 26th, but because it's uh, a Monday, it's like the relative public holiday, I guess. Just so people do get a public holiday out of it. Um, but what I saw was, I forgot, um, Australia Day is when they do Triple J's Hottest 100 for the year. And that, uh, one of the 
people who got in there was uh, Filthy Frank off YouTube. Um, he just goes by his real name, Joji, now, I guess. But um, I actually wouldn't mind finding that song because uh, I really enjoyed the Pink Guy raps. Some quality raps right there. Just don't need all the vomiting and gross shit he does associated with it. I guess he's grown out of that. Ooh, come on. There we go. Come on. Pew, 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 pew. No, stop tracking off the screen. There we go. to correct the humidity just in time. Let us return to headquarters. If we are lucky, our satellite was able to track the weatherman when he fled. Cool. You know, I find the city interesting, but just a little creepy. I will be very happy when this is all over and things have returned to normal. I agree. I hope things get to normal so we can finish playing this game and get on to the next one. I should mention this does have a sequel, um, Operation Eco Disaster. SATCOM, the Team Extreme Weather Satellite, has successfully so been able to, to vector the weatherman's destination. As well. And you are not going to believe where he is heading. Welcome home. I should have known that the weatherman would want to witness the destruction caused by his tornadoes firsthand. And what better place for a hideout than a trailer park in Oklahoma? That is very true. Okay. Um, so, we're going to do the smart thing and save. And the game wants to let us... Oh, it's actually loading. Shit. I uh, hope you're loading game. Yeah, there we go. I got my inventory items. Okay. Save game. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, that's one of the issues of having the cycles down so low. Um, the oh, count down. Do 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 do. Cool. Um, doesn't let you. Ah, oh, yep, yep, yep. And we just jump back in again. Hopefully let us save at that exact spot, because we did progress. And it's weird, like, it's weird they did that, considering there was a shit ton of point-click adventure games before this that let you save whenever you want. Like, uh, all of them. <laughs> like, even the fucking tricky ones, like King's Quest and old Sierra ones. Just type save and you can save. You make sure. Right. Final countdown. Yeah, we can do this shit. Cool. Right. Wait for this to load. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on. We got shit to do, guys. We got a world to save. Okay. So open that. So, this is where he lives. Funny, somehow I would have expected something more evil. Allow me to scan the area. As I suspected, my scan traces show that there is more here than meets the eye, but I cannot be certain exactly what that might be. Right, um, so let's grab an umbrella. And, ah, it's the old 60s Batman. Hide the a button under the statue head. There is trick. a secret door behind the refrigerator? The weatherman really is insane. Well, you'd think you would have picked that up. Not very clever, but effective nonetheless. I will spare you the usual fucking turn. Okay. The ozone is clear. We should be able to enter now. Right. An evil weather studio. This must be where the weatherman has been making his broadcasts from. But where is he? Yeah, that's not half creepy. There's, uh, Melamore. what's his name? Stratus? It's good to see you again. Kid, here it was, I thought I was saving you, and you come along to save me. Look, that wacko stuck me in here so he could make me watch him destroy the world using the crystals on that weather map. You gotta get me out of here. There's a I'm guessing, like, the all the Team Extreme like guys tornado. enjoy fishing in their spare them. time. Like, he's got his Bar, fishing vest, um, safe, okay? Nimbo has his hip waders. Watch yourself, kid. They just gotta watch out for their pet albino alligator who gets a bit shitty at things. Um, I think you can check on the desk. 
Yeah, so this is his script, and he'll read this out if you um, uh, fail, which I did the first time, and got the bad ending. And we got some robots guarding things. Hmm. We this should is a be able to reprogram them. Yeah, but reprogram. Some modifications have been made. This must be how the weatherman reprogrammed all those weatherbots into okay. evil bots. So yeah, we you've got to, to follow the path again. without crossing the same path twice, which is um, not too hard. Uh, except I've got to go to a positive. I um, know. Oh and it's good you can actually like step back on things as well. I think I may have goofed this over. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm one step off. I didn't get to that last one. Okay. Um, and, uh, it's gonna fuck me going. I oh, know, I can go, hang on. Ah, uh, there's no direct path to this one though, okay. Um, can I step back? And can I... Oh no, that's the only spot I can really go to, isn't it? And that screws me too, because I can't reach those other two nodes. Right, go back and try again. me if I go. Yeah, I can, seem to keep blocking the nodes off a little too quickly. Especially when there's a shit ton here. Yeah, yep, that screws me. That screws me in another step. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, hang on, that's looking a bit better. Ah, that's blocking me off, I gotta go. Ah, I can't do that one first either, shit. Um. Yeah, and I've sort of screwed myself, that's like the only path I can really go on, isn't it? Hang on, wait, wait. No, no, there's no path to these ones, okay. Um, give me two seconds. I knocked this out a lot quicker last time I played. And it's a bit of a bitch, like if I do fuck up the uh, ending again, I'm probably going to have to do this again, which is not fun. And... There we Good go, job. got it. You could have an excellent career ahead of you as a weather hacker. Since the bots are a bit more friendly now, let us go see what they were guarding. Okay. Now, yeah, so if I put the cycles... Because, yeah, you this... Be very careful. Quite a little tricky. There is tricky. no telling what might lie beyond that door. Uh, probably the weatherman, I imagine. Yep. So you found me, have you? Well, well, well. After that little incident at the sunken city, I would have thought you smart enough not to meddle in my affairs. But still, I admire your perseverance. But all those bone pits you've been running around to, well, that's just a warm-up. The crystals I took from them have the real power. And with them, I can create such glorious, beautiful weather, the likes of which the human race has never seen and probably won't Ooh, survive. Ooh, can you make it cloudy with the chance but of meatballs? just because I'm evil doesn't mean I can't afford you a sporting chance. Gagging for a hamburger. I've been dying to play someone in a game of... Weather domination. Weather domination, yeah. You, you look like just a little... So spot. this is basically the same as the shooting minigame to fix up the weather, except, um... Why don't you have that pesky little... Yeah, yeah, he, he gets the places a lot quicker than you do. And you have to get more countries than he does. Ah, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. get this party hopping, the mountains are gonna roll. Yeah, so he can put his mouse cursor straight there. My you cannot. Is unstoppable. And you gotta get more than he does. Um, fuck me. I hear this. <laughs> you won't win. Yeah, see, you can. He goes directly to. 
I'm gonna give this world what? crazy. Oh, Japan, way. really? As if I'm gonna be able to hit Japan. Yeah. Canada? No, he's he's aced it. <laughs> he has absolutely aced it. Yeah. Case in point. You fool! You thought you could dominate me? Well, you and your little infobot are in for quite a surprise, let me tell you that. Oh, but first I should probably turn all my bots back to evil. Nice try, though. Close, but no banana. Too bad. Oh, I want so a banana. Sad. Better luck next time. <laughs> but there isn't going to be a next time. <laughs> so, yeah, you... How off-putting would that be as a kid to, like, get to this point every time and fucking goof up? And having to do it all over again. So, yeah, we're gonna cheat to finish this off. I'm gonna drop the cycles right fucking down when we get to the um, weather dominate again. Storms, crisp white lightning, floods, hail, ice. Why it makes me tingle just to think about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and so, allow me to close by saying, welcome to the last day of. The rest of your lives. Yeah. <laughs> I, they did show some slightly evil weather. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a bit fucked. Whoops. See, this is how life gets you when you can't slow down CPU cycles. You can't save the world. Right. So, yeah, and it just kicks you out of the game. Bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, so we'll jump back in, do everything again, and I'll drop the cycle. I got them on 30, so if I drop them to 15, we should be good. Just try and get it as slow as I can, because... Yeah, what a pain in the ass. Like, analog sticks, I'll be fine. Mouse, not so much. And this is literally like the last fucking last showdown too. I'll just wait for the thing to load. And you can't even beat him educationally either. Like that's you'd think that's kind so, of the point of the this game. Alright, hmm. yep. so head studio. through. This Talk to Stratus, head back. Does you'd think there'd be like an easier way to take him down hmm. as well? This is a standard weatherbot programming terminal, but some unusual modifications have been made. This must be how the weatherman reprogrammed all those weatherbots into uh -huh. evil bots. Uh -huh. We should be able to reprogram them into weatherbots again. Yeah, but he screwed myself gun that way last time. Okay. And block myself off hitting that one, so Didn't I just go this way the first time? Fuck. Yeah. And I get one left over. Shit. Okay. Yeah, reset that. Yeah, maybe just go like this. No, hang on, hang on. Um, we want to go red, green, red, green. Um, no, I just screwed myself again. Unless I can. No, no, okay. Hang on. Right. Um, and it's a shame there's no like official walkthrough either because um, that would be and not painting myself in the corner again yeah all there is is someone else's playthrough of this it's a bit of a pain in the ass oh hang on go that way yeah. Oh. Shane plays with Willy. Willy is happy again. Face roll. Thank you for the host, my dude. Much appreciated. 
Hope you're enjoying your um, thingo. Uh, Australian bladed Australia Day. Um, no, I keep fucking it. Okay. Maybe if I start on the other side, see how I go there. Because that way I get this one first. But I've screwed myself again. Okay. Um, and I can't end on this one either because I need a red. Um, yeah. Okay. Hang on. Maybe this one? Yeah. There we go. Good job. Cool. We got you could it. have an excellent career ahead of you as a weather hacker. Since the bots are a bit more friendly now, let us go see what they were guarding. Okay. We must be very careful. Right, so, so you found me, have you? Let's knock him down to well, 10 yeah. just to play it safe. Right, here we go. I'm Why is it still so fast? Wake up call. Fuck! Fuck me! Here's an idea. I'll give you a quarter and you get that overgrown alarm clock away from me! This game goes out to all the people who are always uh, whining come on, about come the on, weather. Come on. You know, the weather whiner. Ah, fuck. Now give me... That's not fair. Well, we won't be doing it again. Ah, oh, I could have gotten fucking... Are we having fun yet? Right, I've got more than him now at least. Yep. What's that? You're not ready to surf the it Sahara? Keeps... <laughs> well, I am! Ah, oh, it changes on you. That That's fucking tricky. Okay. That's a pain in the ass. How about a draw? I destroy the world and you get a fabulous prize. No, nah, he's gonna get Japan. Sorry, Godzilla. Nah. Ah, ah. Now you really ticked me off. Okay, we won. There's no way you could have beaten me. It's inconceivable that you could have beaten me. You'll keep using that word. I don't think well, it means what you think it means. Being evil. I don't have to keep my word. Ah. I'm going to destroy the world anyway, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> no, I've got the stick. Bye. Ah, okay. Um. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're supposed to be after them, you moronic hunks of metal. Yeah, Please, yeah. Listen to me. He didn't oh, change did. the robots back to evil. We programmed. Good. But well, isn't that just too much? <laughs> I guess this throws those bonus privileges right out the window. <laughs> no more WD-40 for you guys. That's the last time I written Star Wars videos. Battlestar Galactica is completely out. Oh, come on, fella, please. <laughs> By your command. Okay. Um. So, what do we do to win? Uh, is there anything in here I can? Oh, I can. Hidden compartment with a key. Tornado-shaped key. Right. Uh. So we should be able to free Stratus. Cool. Thanks, kid. You've done a real good job. Above and beyond the call of duty. Now I gotta take the weatherman back before he can cause any more damage. What is that? Stratus, I am detecting a broadband transmission of unknown origin. I will feed the signal through my cipher banks and attempt to translate. What has been taken must be returned. Return the crystals to their cradles. The balance of the weather must be restored. Return the crystals to where they belong. Oh crap, one more puzzle, I think. Well, I'm not sure what all that business was about, but you guys can fill me in later. Millibar, you and your friend better put those crystals back where they're supposed to go. We may be in for, I don't know what. I'll take care of the weatherman. I want to keep an eye on him. See you both back at headquarters. Well, you could, like, fucking supervise, maybe, since you're here. Be a good idea. Well, maybe I can become the new weatherman. <laughs> um, oh, it's on the map. Okay. The locations of those three crystals on the map correspond exactly to the sites of the three weather control centers we have discovered. The crystals have the same energy signature as the control centers, too. The weatherman must have taken these crystals from the control centers. But for what purpose? Okay. Um, so let's go red in Africa. Oh no, I can't actually put them back. Okay. Um, so what else can we look at exactly? Yeah, we did all that. 
Oh, do we have to go back to each area and actually physically put them back where they belong? Yeah, yep. Okay, um, so let's head back here. Coordinates. I have reset our navigational system and activated the autopilot. The storm runner will fly us back to each of the weather control sites we have visited, in turn. That message I received must have been a warning left by the ancients. If it is correct, we should be able to undo the damage that the weatherman has caused by replacing the crystals at each you location. You can see the wires on that At least, thing. I hope we can. <laughs> we should be within visual range of the Salisbury Plain and Stonehenge in a few minutes. However, I'm receiving radio broadcasts of abnormal weather from across Britain. A pink snowstorm in Edinburgh, frogs raining in London. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, it's going to do it for me. The energy signatures I previously detected are beginning to fade. But the weather shows no signs of improving. Both the Stonehenge and the Giza crystals have been returned to where they belong, but the global weather patterns remain unbalanced. However, we still have the third and final crystal to return to Atlantis. Now that the last crystal has been replaced, I am locking in a course for Team Extreme Headquarters, so that we can observe the results, or deal with the aftermath. Atlantis is beginning to fade from my sensors. I do not know if we can locate it again. Somehow that is probably fortunate. I doubt that we are ready to control the weather. With that much power comes a great deal of responsibility. Yeah, thanks, Spider-Man. Excellent work. I'm receiving reports from all around the world that the abnormal weather has disappeared as suddenly as it appears. The global weather systems have apparently been rebalanced and returned to normal. I am receiving a message from Stratus. He asks that we join him and the other operatives in the main hall. <laughs> You done a good Actually, job. it's nice to see an extended like everything um, back to ending normal. rather than the 30 seconds spiels you normally get in these sort of games. Someplace. Uh, he won't be getting into any more trouble. <laughs> Say, Milvar, little buddy. You doing okay? I am not your little. Yes, I am doing fine. Thank you. Cool. Say, you got anything to eat? <laughs> <laughs> I just got the stick. All yours if you want it. Spectacular job out there, mates. That weatherman guy was a real loon. Yeah? I'm just glad you and your friend are okay, Millibar. He was looking close there. You guys worry too much. I knew they'd do just fine. After all, they're Team Extreme. Yeah! Here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's my pleasure to make you a full-fledged member of Team Extreme. That is, if it's all right by you. This was actually one of the easier missions I remember. The next one might be really tough. <laughs> yeah, great. Cool. All right. We won the game. <laughs> all right. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. We'll probably... Um, I'll stop recording. We'll switch over to Strafe. And yeah, I'll probably play the sequel to this at a later date.